Hi and well welcome to Electrical Engineering Planet and in today's video we will learn how to use a very powerful tool that will help us to create a three phase voltage sine waves and draw it as a graphic and see how it works and understand exactly what is a sine wave for a single phase for a three phase or whatever this tool or software is an online tool which is called Desmos. Desmos actually is a powerful online graphing calculator that allows users to plot equations, visualize mathematical concepts and create interactive graphs. It's widely used for educational purposes due to its powerful interface and real-time graphing capabilities. Today, we will start to create a sine wave for a voltage source, a single phase voltage source, and then we will create a three phase sine wave. So please consider subscribing in Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. First of all, I will search for Desmos calculator graphing. Let's choose this calculator. And as you can see, we are inside our Desmos calculator. Here you will find the place that you will write down the equations in. And here you will find your graph, your visualized graph. As you know, the voltage or the sine wave of your voltage source is equal to V times sine omega t where v is the maximum value of voltage so it's the amplitude and omega is the angular frequency also we are inside the time domain so let's now start creating our equation here let's draw inside layer number one y which is this axis equal to sine x this x-axis which is considered as the time domain so as you can see now we have a sine wave perfect now let's add our v which is the maximum voltage i will call it here a a is a constant value as you can see desmos here suggests me to add a slider called a so if you click on a you will find out that the application added to you a slider so it's a constant value that you can change using this slider and as you can see when i change the value of a it increases and decreases the value of y axis which is the maximum voltage v so i will keep it here one also when i press here you will find out that i can choose the minimum value of a and the maximum value of a but i will keep it here okay here beside x or the time domain i will add another value or constant value i will call it b he will suggest me another slider for this b constant value press ok and as you can see when i change b now it will decrease and increase the amplitude of the time domain so it will change the frequency of the sine wave because the frequency as you know is how much the sine wave can repeat itself inside one second so when i change the value of this b it will change the frequency but i will keep it also one perfect before i continue working on our sine wave here from this button or graph setting let's press on it and you will find that we have some options option number a is reverse contrast which is working on the dark mode but i prefer this white color here also we have another option we can remove this grid as you can see or we can return it back also we can remove the small grid inside every large grid as you can see here from minor gridness we can remove it or keep it also the numbers on the axis i can remove it or keep it 
Also, I can make an arrows here or remove it. Also, it could be four arrows as you can see or just two here on the positive values. Okay. Also, we have an X axis. I can remove it or keep it. Y axis. I can remove it or keep it. Also, I can choose the step between each value for X axis here zero then two then four but here actually we are working with a sine wave so we need pi over two so inside the step i will write down the word pi p i and it will be converted into pi this sign and make over or division then press two so as you can see now we are working fine pi over two pi and so on also you will find more options we can work on linear mode or log mode but i will keep it here also we can work on radians or degree perfect also we can zoom in and zoom out if i change here the view i can click here on the default viewport to return back to the original view here, as you can see, this sine wave is repeating itself every two by, which is 360 degree. Now, let's add another value. Let's add here plus and add, for example, C. This is a new constant. And let's click here to add a new slider. And as you can see, when we change C, it will change the offset of our sine wave. It will remove it in Y axis. So we can change the sine wave offset. But I will keep it zero to be its in original state. Perfect. Inside the sine wave, I will add another constant. Let's call it D. And press OK. As you can see, it consider it as also an offset because we didn't put a bracket here inside the sine wave. So we will put it as a bracket to understand that all this happening inside the sine wave. Let's change the value of D. And as you can see, it will make the sine wave run, move as you can see. Perfect. Also keep in mind that we have a play button here when we press on it, it will change the value of D from the minimum value to the maximum value. So here, for example, if we click on this play button, the sine wave will run as you can see, because they are changing the value of constant D. Stop it again, and let's put it here as zero. Let's put those values beside another brackets and then click on a division and write here down any constant name for example g and add it as a slider and as you can see when we change this slider it will change the frequency of our sine wave but i will keep it here as one also perfect now i can change the color and thickness of this sine wave by pressing on this edit list and then let's click here and you will find out that we can change the thickness of our wave i will write down for example four or maybe six as you can see it's bold now also i can choose it as a straight line or dotted line perfect let's keep it as a straight line also i can change the color but i will keep it as red press done and perfect here is our sine wave also i can remove this toolbar by pressing here to see the sine wave and i can return it back by pressing here now i want to create another two sine waves so we have a three phase power so I need beside this Y another two sine waves. 
let's copy that and here and paste it here as you can see we have here a new sine wave which is like the first one so here you will find a mixture between this sine wave and this sine wave but actually the other two sine waves is 120 degree after the first sine wave so add here plus and then 2 pi over 3 and this is our second sine wave it starts after 120 degree after the first sine wave or the first phase this is phase r and this is s and also i will add t so let's copy that and add a new sine wave but let's put here 4 pi over 3 and as you can see here now we have a three phase r s and t let's make some modifications here this one i will make it with the black color and change it to six thickness of six press done also the last one i will keep it as a blue color but i will change it to thickness of six press done and as you can see this is our three phase sine wave r s and t now we can simulate it to see when it's moving during time by changing the value of d this d value now will simulate this three sine wave let's press on this play button and as you can see the sine wave are moving forward and backward perfect in the next video we will use desmos to calculate active power reactive power and apparent power for our ac voltage system so please consider subscribing in electrical engineering planet channel to support our community also don't forget to share like and let knowledge enlighten your world thanks for watching